So how did you get into, or how were you exposed to the idea of corrective exercise when you were, you know, going through your injuries, when you had your issues with, you know, with movement dysfunction, you know, deadlifting 500 pounds, but not able to go on a hike? Yeah. Well, I understood kind of intuitively that I shouldn't be feeling that way when Mm -hmm. I was 20 years old. I also knew that my workouts were making me feel worse. So I could correlate an increase of like pain in my joints and how my body looked with the frequency and intensity that I was working out. Mm -hmm. So I had early on when I was like in a, when I was still a teenager, I started to feel these things in my late teenage years. I suspected that a lot of it was due to my training and, you know, attributable to that. So I knew that, or at least I thought at the time that the answer would be there as well. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right. That's when I first started to think about it. I'm like, if my training's making it worse and potentially causing these injuries, then maybe my training can help these things as well. You Mm -hmm. know, um, and I knew I had bad posture just intuitively as well. So yeah, the first thing I did which blew my mind when I was 19. I started working with the osteopathic doctor. He introduced me to foam rolling, which I had knew about conceptually yeah. uh, when I was 19, you know, cause I was a certified personal trainer when I was 19. I learned about it, but I just never really foam rolled anything. And uh, I just remember foam rolling my TFL and not even being able to put, you know, 25% of my body weight in, up from my hips on the roller. Yeah, that's how tight I was there. And I was like, alarmed by how tight I was. And I just started rolling the area more and more staying consistent with it. After Mm -hmm. about two sessions of rolling it, I had much less contraction of those muscles, my whole IT band felt better. Uh, And this change was so profound, it happened so quickly, that that is kind of what uh, started me into corrective exercise. It's Mm -hmm. just basic self massage, self myofascial release with a foam roller. Yeah. I felt such a big difference just from foam rolling it by itself that it kind of opened a can of worms in my mind where I said, if this helped me out a ton, then I need to learn more about this, where I can do this elsewhere in my body, where there are tools I can use. Eventually from there, my knowledge of how to do like joint mobilizations, you know, advanced stretching techniques, mm-hmm. activation of certain muscles that I was not activating with my compound lift based training. Yeah. I just started to kind of expand from there. But the first thing that really blew my mind was just foam rolling and the benefits that I got from that. Hope you enjoyed that. Click over here if you want to watch another clip from the podcast. If you haven't subscribed, click over here to subscribe and check out full episodes on any major podcasting platform, full video episodes on the Better Man podcast YouTube channel.